posting, right? Not particularly. Well, you got to do it. Are we recording? Yeah. Great. Okay. Hi. Welcome to Super Fun Pack Weekly Podcast. As always, I'm Jen and with me is... I'm Chris. Chris. Yes. Handsome, handsome Chris. So <laughs> this week was Thanksgiving. Did you do anything fun, Chris? Um, I ate a bit. It was, uh, it was good. It was good. Um, we saw a few movies, but... Wow, that's all he has to say about Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> Not a good conversation, Megan. <laughs> My mom was here. Well, is here. She's in the next room. We're trying to convince her to come on the podcast. She's got a lot of opinions about the last movie we watched. <laughs> not a good movie. We did watch quite a few movies this weekend, though. Uh, nothing particularly new, just things that we haven't seen. Uh, weird things that we haven't seen, random things. Like both the Lego movie and the Lego Batman movie, as well as 50, uh, 50 Shades Darker. No, 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 we're going by 50 Shades Grayer. <laughs> Is it 50 Shades Grayer or 50 Shades Darker? I think it's 50 Shades Darker. No. Th- Shaves Darker. It's 50 Shades Grayer. Fifty Shades Darker. No, it's Fifty Shades Grayer. Well, we watched that movie in preparation for Valentine's Day, where Chris is going to take me to f- see the last movie, which are, what, the Fifty Grayest Shades? Uh, yeah, Chris is going to suck it up and be a good boyfriend and go watch the movie with me. He's already promised, terrible. and he promised on the air. You promised on one of our podcasts, so you're held to it. Don't so that's gonna be ever fun. do it. Don't ever do it. <laughs> okay, well, before we get into our reviews, just some quick uh, updates going on. We are going to have a new Let's Play coming up sometime Tuesday. Do you want to tell more about that, Chris? It's spooky. And I laugh a lot because Jen can't handle the spooks. <laughs> yeah, I can only play that game small amounts at a time, but it's going to be fun, so check that out. We'll post on the website when it's out we'll post on our facebook page also we got a twitter tweet tweet i don't know how twitter works but um we're at super fun pack i guess so it's the same name easy to find uh we have one tweet out i have tweeted my first tweet ever I, yeah, how did that work out for you? i seriously don't understand tweets the only person who might possibly have seen this tweet is the only person i've followed so far who is barack obama so he most definitely saw it <laughs> Because <laughs> Barack oh, listens to our <laughs> podcast. <clears throat> so that's it. Those are the quick things we had to update it's you guys super on. Super fun pack. <clears throat> yeah, we're super fun pack. Michelle, tell I, me more about this super fun pack. <laughs> I think I'm actually killing it at being a host. I think I'm a much better host than you are. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, you don't? You should compliment me. You don't compliment me enough. Tell me what a great host I am. You're great at getting me to watch movies that I can't stand. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. It's, it's so bad. It wasn't that bad. It, it I didn't. No... I did not make you watch the first one. It's. You say it's not that bad. But I have a laundry list in my brain. Okay, we'll talk about that. But one, I'm just saying, don't hold this too badly against me because I didn't make you watch the first one and let you read Google Wikipedia synopsis. So you know. Yeah, apparently he he smacked her six times in the butt after knowing being a BDSM guy and likes this kind of shiznit, and he's supposedly a sadist and all this shit, and she understands this well, knowing into this relationship, and then. And then she goes, hmm, I can't take I, one smack, mm, maybe. Two <clears throat> smacks, all right. Three, nah, that's, I think that's a little too much. Four, ah, maybe he got a little carried away. Five, ah, see, if he does one more, I'm out. Ah, six, I'm out. I'm done. I don't want any more a part of you. And then she cries, and he runs in the rain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, that's quick. Chris's eloquent synopsis of a movie he has never seen. I read the cliff notes. <laughs> you read the cliff? No, you read the Wikipedia. You didn't even read the cliff notes. In, in the plot of the wiki, 
it says like they have sex each paragraph and there's three paragraphs. Yeah, it's erotica, Chris. It's boring. It's based off of an erotica book. Okay, not much happens. I've it's never read boring. the books, actually. My, my mom did. She read the books. She liked them. It's... We're going to fuck. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with that. But don't make it be boring. And he's all boring. Oh, wait. We'll talk about this. Should we talk about the Batman movies first? The Lego ones? Oh, uh, no. We're already into this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, do we're it, opening Mars. up. We're opening up this podcast with our review of Fifty Shades Darker. Fifty Shades Grayer. Well, it's called Fifty Shades Darker, but there's a lot of white going on in this movie. There's so much gray. <laughs> so much white people. This movie's very white. That's so okay, much gray. first thing that bothered me about this movie, just first thing, Christian Gray almost never takes his pants off when having sex. Yeah, he does. He, he does take his pants off or he doesn't? He, no, he never takes his he pants takes off. He takes his pants off Except one time. One time. One time. But for the entire of this movie, I swear they're literally having sex every, what, 10 minutes? Maybe? He had the soggy pants. Okay, only one time did they take their pants after having sex like eight times in this film. Every time was with pants on in like two seconds of floor play. This was like the most lackluster erotic sex movie I've ever watched in my life. Like it was... Ugh. This is the only sex movie I've ever watched in my life. You watch porn. Yeah, porn is different, though. They're sex movies. <laughs> yeah, but I know what I'm getting into, and I know when I can quit. I feel disgusted after I do the deed. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, maybe tomorrow I'll do it again. <laughs> you have the coyest little smile on your face right now. <laughs> but then, this. How about we talk about Christian Grey? Can okay, we, let's talk about Christian Grey. Let's, let's talk about this man. The creepiest man on the planet. Oh, I don't find him that creepy. Only to Edward Cullen. Oh, okay. I like those books. Well, I don't like those books, but I had fun with them when I was a teen. So you like stalkers. Apparently I do. Yes. Weird. It's not about them stalking. No, okay. The whole point of it being like romantic, whatever. It's not that he's stalking you. It's that he's interested hey, in Jen, you and he wants to learn what everything if about dude you dude is really interested in you it's just followed you everywhere what would you call that if he was my boyfriend i wouldn't no, call no, no, it no, stalking no. broke up a stalker there you go he's stalking he wasn't stalking her the, when did he stalk her the beginning of the god when did he stalk her he just showed up at this Goddamn artsy fancy He wasn't thing. stalking up. He showed up to ask and her if he, they could talk and go to dinner and have a discussion. And bought all the pictures. They were for sale. And he didn't take them himself, Christopher. Her creepy ass friend took pictures of her and then sold them. Oh, Chris is saying I'm being too loud, so I'm going to whisper now. No, you can keep going. It's just you're peeking. I get very, very emotional when someone tries to accuse Christian Grey or Edward Cullen of stalkerism. You telling me they ain't stalking? I didn't think they were stalking hey, in context stalking, of what they were talking even about. Even in a relationship, is stalking. I. If I followed you every, it said, "Fuck my I job." I could do with I'm a little gonna... bit more stalking in my life from you. Yes. I'll be. Yes. Like, I'm gonna. Be all the way Show up at my job with flowers it. and food. You don't like flowers. I don't care that I don't like them. It's the effort put into it, showing that no, you want to keep this relationship you. going. I'm, I'm going to do it for a week and make it a video. I'm just like, I'm going to just stalk Jen. Do it. Just do, do it. it. You're like, what the hell? And I'm do gonna it. Be like in the bushes. See how you like my foot in your face. See? Because that you will don't happen. Like it. Because you just stalking me. It's not like you're stalking me and then showing up and trying to give me things and be nice to me and, like, make a, rom- a connection in our romance. You're just That's being... still stalking. And you're doing it in a different connotation. It's still stalking. Okay, okay, so the end result is he, you think Christian Grey is a stalker. He's sneaking in the okay, DMs. Okay, okay, you don't like Christian Grey. I don't like Anna. You don't like him either. What's, so, no, I like Christian weird. Grey. But what's the female character's name? Anastasia Anna? Is it Anna or Anna? Yeah, Anast- Anastasia, Anastasia Steele. Steel. Okay, okay. She is the most... Both names have the gray Shh. color in it. 
Okay. Why is she... S- okay, this guy who's Christian Grey. Think. Okay, he's like this billionaire, can have whoever he yeah, wants, and stalking. he wants this... Shut up. He wants this boring ass he, girl who has zero personality. In the whole movie, she has no personality. Like, what is there to like about her? You're jelly? Yeah, I'm jelly. Yeah, you want to see He her. handed her a check for $24,000. I want that in my life. Hey, well, here's the thing. You could give me money... I'm going to take it, but I'm not going to like the fact you stalking me. I want the money. You'd be like, here's a check. Oh, thanks, man. I'm calling the cops. You stalking me, though. I want the money. Oh, this shit fucking didn't bounce. Sweet. <laughs> but no, seriously, like, what is there to like about Ugh. Anastasia? Like, I don't get... Broken they have... Lot. Yeah. They have no connection, the two characters. Like, the characters really make no sense. It's a weird movie. No, the whole movie makes no sense. But let's get back to Christian Grey and him being a creepy, no, creepy... No, he's not a creepy, a, creepy stalker. A creepy, teleporting, stalking no, man. you don't like when he, that he showed up at the photography studio, the open house, right? No. He showed up because he wanted to talk to her. Because she, oh. she asked him... Shut up. She had, got quiet. Phone. She asked him to spank her, so he did. And then she walked out and told him, you're crazy and gross. Oh, my God. And so he's like, okay, I, I think I love this woman. I'm willing to change. So he tries to talk to her. Obviously, she's not answering her phone calls or anything because he sent her flowers to congratulate her on a new job. She didn't call him nada, uh-huh. okay? So he shows up like, listen, Anna, uh, everything you said, I took it to heart and I'm willing to change. That's not being a stalker. That's trying to have a relationship. They got phones. They could leave a voicemail. I don't they think. They could even write. I don't think she's willing to answer his text messages or anything. She's she all, straight up told the mom, it's never, ever going to happen. We're never going to be together. Hey, I'm, I'm going to exhaust. He only options. showed up one time. It's not like we showed in the film that he showed up eight jillion times about, and she kept saying no. How about every time she kind of turned around after something, he was always there. When? When? You know in Scooby-Doo? When? When, when did he always show that? up? Chris, the, evidence. Evidence. When did he always show up? All right. So after, uh, what was it? Her, like that job thing? No. Full sentences. She was at work. And she just left. And the guy's like, hey, like, you want to hang out? Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, man. No, that's not I what. No. Who? Jack. The boss? Jack? When they went to the bar? Yeah. Because they asked her, you can bring your boyfriend. So it was implied that she asked Christian to come out with her coworkers for a drink. And then he shows up and there's no coworkers. It's just her be, and her boss. Was that announced? It was implied because they said nah, you can invite your boyfriend. In you, gotta, you all need to be able to connect the dots as a rational adult male. Yeah, let's connect dots on his dumbass chest. Are you talking about an abuse victim's scars right now? Don't wow. give a fuck. Wow, Chris, you have no sensitivity whatsoever. But no, that moment no, that you're saying mo- he's the ma- motherfucker's <laughs> a mutant. You're saying he magically showed up. He didn't. Okay, it was implied yeah, in the scene that she invited him. He, he, that- Show me another one. All right, so what was... Fuck, I wasn't really paying attention during this movie. Shit. It's gonna bite you in the ass, it's bitch. It's biting me in the ass. Oh, but, uh, let's see. After the bathroom during the, like, the ball... He was yeah, probably he was, waiting he was for her. there, but... No, she they was went like, to the ball together. Yeah, no, I'm not saying they didn't go together. If we were at a, bar, a ball together, dancing around, but dancing, dancing, and then waiting? I said, I yeah, have to go to the bathroom, like, you'd wait on. for me. Yeah, but not in the bathroom. He wasn't in the bathroom. That was a giant hallway separating the bathroom from everywhere yeah. else. You'd be like, I gotta go to the bathroom. You know what I'd be? At my table, waiting for you. Oh, you are literally picking at straws not to try and make it creepy. He was waiting for his girlfriend then, when she was in the restroom. And, not weird and then, at all. like, the, the whole rapey thing that was about to happen. What rapey thing that was about Jack. to happen? Okay. Yeah. He was waiting for her after work. Ah. They were going out to dinner. He's picking her up after work to go out to dinner. Don't believe it. Man's a fucking telephone. They were texting him. that he said, I'm outside waiting for you for dinner. And she said, okay, I'll be down in a second. And then what was it? Uh, you just at, near don't the like end her. of the movie. After the, okay, this the is a teleporting proposal. weird. No, what? Like, like, oh, I propose her. And then she meets the crazy blonde lady that's filled with Botox. And then she's like, you don't understand what Christian wants. And he's like, bitch, fight me. Uh, throw ginger ale in your face. And then he shows up. And then he's like, hello. 
Let me wipe that off of you. Hey, you and I have been to a party. Well, like one party. You did not leave my side that entire party. Because I didn't know anyone. Still, it's not that awkward to be hanging around with your girlfriend at a party. I don't know anyone. I now don't know those like, people. I don't want to talk to them. They you knew a lot me. of the people there. Half I the people there were from our gym. And then everyone else showed up from yeah, our gym. And that's when I started. You act like a little baby away. at parties. Once You grab onto once, my nipple and don't let go. Yeah, because mommy can't leave me alone. I get scared. I get intimidated by all those new faces. You're six foot two. Don't. Why are you intimidated? I'm still intimidated. Okay. But no, half the things you're trying to say about Christian Grey magically appearing are completely normal. Actually, tell me something that's... No. Yeah, those were completely normal, normal incidents. About, hey, I'm always around. Every turn. Hey, what's up? They're literally... Hey, how did you get over there? No. I saw you over... Wait. Did what? They... Hey. You're on the left. You're on the right. Where are you? We're in a fun house now. <laughs> yeah. And then he teleports from Oregon to Seattle. This is the only part that actually I agree with you. That is teleportation. No, look, rewatch this movie. This is Every the time only she part. Turns her I will not head. be rewatching like, this movie. Hello. And then, and then she turns her head again. Hi, Christian. How are you leaving your cat there? Is, do you have a house full of mirrors? I don't know. Are you a circus clown or are you a mutant? And the answer is both. He's a mutant. There we go. Conclusion. Got it. Christian Grey mutant confirmed. He made a deal with the devil and he could teleport all over the world. And not be hurt. The dude got into a helicopter crash (coughs) and didn't get hurt. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I just teleported. I have healing factor now. Didn't <laughs> tell you about that. Sorry, Anna. You can't know every secret about me. That was kind of random. That movie had real no, like, climax or anything. It was just a weird, bumpy movie. And that's just the character. And that's one of them. And now let's get to Anna. You know what Anna is? Plank. Yeah, she, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. She, wait, the wooden piece? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Plank. She has no character. She's just boring. I'd rather watch Christian Grey make out with Plank. Then at least there'd be some more chemistry there. <clears throat> Seriously, she no, just stood I don't... still and looked dead. What was the point of the movie? They all whispered like this, like, hold on. Oh, hey, shh, shh, I don't shh, know the point of the Chris, movie. Chris, Chris. Here. Why won't why won't you talk to me? Just Is this a conversation? Just talk to me. See, I, I gotta mm, Alright, I'm gonna play it as I Chris. Wa- I want to know you. Then talk. Let me in. Hey, so you can't ask a question and when I say hey talk. Open up, Chris. Open We're getting nowhere, are we? Open for me. Oh, this is terrible. Why are you speaking so Shrek, loudly? Please. Shh, you must quiet. I, I'm done with you. Hey, hey, take me to the red room and do do things to me. You don't Come deserve on. the red room. You know what? That billiards table deserves the red room. God hey, damn it. hey, take me with your pants on. My weird painting hey, of a hey. seagull holding a headless seagull man deserves the red room. You know what's hot? You sex. You deserve nothing. Sex and fully like clothed. It. Sex fully clothed is the hottest thing we've ever I've ever seen. No, you'll be naked. I'll be in a full suit. <laughs> Does he even take his shoes off half the time? No. Ah. He's just dry rubbing it. If you were to hear the sex <laughs> noises, it would be like this. All right, I need complete quiet. <laughs> ah! Ah! That's the sex noises. <laughs> And then you're gonna hear. Watch, it's gonna go back. It's like a powdered milk. Ah! Not even, just flame. So much friction, it's burning. His pants are what the astronauts use to, so they don't get burned up on re-entry. This whole movie is just—it's sad though because 
I remember when the first one came out, I was so excited because it was just going to be like a PDMS movie. And this movie has so you know many issues. Just watch porn. Yeah, but it's supposed to be about movie with character. The, no, they no, have no character. Just, yeah. And everyone connects well, can BDMS find, culture with like mental uh, issues and like sexual abuse. I can find BDSM porn. With that, a better with a plot. plot. And it would be better than this movie. Show it to me. We're all right. Okay. It's going to yeah. be called like slavers just, like, just put thing, putting this out there anyone who is into like bdms or any of that you're not crazy you don't have mental problems you can be two no, healthy like people like, in a relationship who like to do this there's nothing wrong this with it movie this movie is, is terrible. terrible also jinx i'm not shutting up now you owe me a coke i don't give a fuck i'll owe you 35 cokes so i don't watch the next movie nope you already promised to see it with me you're men of your word. So what was up with his <clears throat> fucking apartment? His giant ass. Of- oh, you're thing. talking about the art decor. He couldn't get over the fucking art decor in the on the no, set. No, because that thing looked like a bloodborne enemy. I didn't even see what you were talking about. I was interested in his two characters talking in front of me and or having sex in front of me. I wasn't because there's was no conversation and there's no characters. There's no characters to get invested into. And you know this. I was still attempting to watch the movie. You were grasping at air. I was trying and you were distracting me. Are you something interesting? No. Are you? Ah, damn it. I swear there's a good movie in here somewhere. I was trying to enjoy the movie. You were the one who wouldn't shut the fuck up and wouldn't... Maybe you... Okay, it's a... It's not a good movie, but that doesn't mean you How can't... about all the inconsistencies? How about all... Shh, just, just be quiet. Let me speak for a quick second. You can enjoy a bad movie. You know this, right? Like, it doesn't have to be the best thing ever to enjoy it. But you weren't even allowing yourself to, encho- to try to enjoy it because you were, you were just pulling yourself out of it. Like, I enjoyed it just because I was watching a movie. So... <clears throat> A person that has seen bad movies worse than this. <coughs> this movie took itself too seriously. <clears throat> yeah, it definitely does. It could and have been a more fun movie the if they didn't take it this seriously. Where I got bored. I got bored making fun of it. Here's a question though. These books sold millions of copies, so are the books just badly written? Like is it just because women are no, so starved it's... for good fiction? Like why why do these movies go off so well? I feel like I feel like women need a way to... Yes, please. Tell me what m- women need, uh-huh. Chris. You could, you could be the devil's avocado here. But I feel that a lot of women are too bubbled in a way. Like, because they get, people give a stigma of a woman watching porn and stuffing. And stuffing? And stuffing, yeah. And, and because they like stuffing. But with men, it's not as Wait, it's not it, stigmatized. What are you talking about? I don't understand what you're saying. So, like, the Fifty Shades of Grey books are just straight up porn. Mm-hmm. But it's porn in your mind. You're bringing it. You're you're painting the picture in your head. The stigma of a woman actually watching porn is like, oh, that's disgusting. How can you watch that? But you can read it and fantasize about it. It's the fantasy versus the actual reality that you're seeing. It's like people who like glorify like violence, but they can't handle violence in real life. So are you saying the reason why these books did so well is because women don't watch porn, but they still want porn. So this was a way for them to get both of the worlds. Yes. I don't know if it's right. And I don't care if it's right, but this is my head cannon. I honestly don't know because I don't know a woman who, in my the people I know, everyone I know watches porn. So I don't know why these books went off so you know. Because like my mom, definitely don't. You don't know what's on your mom's computer. Book. You don't know what's on your mom's computer. My mom doesn't have a computer. She has a phone. 
she don't know how to work her phone. Too Your well. mom probably figured out how to watch porn. Everyone figures out how to watch porn. <clears throat> I, I, I know you don't want to think about I this, Chris. Through it. I know you don't want to think about this, Chris. But your mom probably not, watched stop porn. Stop doing it. You're trying to put it oh, in my head. If Chris's brothers are listening to this, your mom watches porn. Gross. Don't do that. <laughs> you're, you're a disgusting human being. <laughs> your mom's a sexual being, and that's nothing wrong with that. Don't <laughs> talk about my mommy. Don't want to know about my mommy. But no, honestly, my seriously. My mommy stays my mommy. She's in a little corner. I know, I get it, Chris. Your mom had a virginal there. birth, virginal birth, 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 birth. No, no. Immaculate conception. No, you know what? How I was brought to life? Hmm. They just opened a bag and said, here you go. Who opened the bag? Where'd they There's get somebody, the bag from? The doctor. Where'd they get the bag from? The baby store? No, from, from Best Buy. Oh, you're from Best Buy. Yeah, I was born in Best Buy. They created me. <laughs> okay. That's how I want to be brought up. They just pulled me out of the Looney Tunes. But no, seriously, I I I read erotic books. Oh, that's you. Um, they get boring after a while because it's just sex, and I want the plot. And if I wanted to watch sex, I just watch porn. So, like, why did these books do so well? I can't say. But what I can say is these movies are doing good because I think people are just excited for them because of the books. But they're not good movies. No, no. <clears throat> because the first movie was about, it was about, oh, I want to see the movie of the book that I like so much. Yeah. Now, the second one's like, I'm invested in this shit show train wreck. I gotta finish I it. I gotta finish it. <clears throat> it's the same with Twilight. I only watched all of them because the first one was like, oh, they're making this book that I read when I was a kid and I really liked it. Bad movie. And then the second one oh. was, okay, maybe it'll do better. Remember that scene in Twilight? Where they were playing baseball, and every time they hit it, it was like a thunderbolt. Yeah. That bugged me. And also remember that time when they fought each other, and all the stock glass sound effects were playing every time they fought each other? Ooh. I like Twilight. Like, psh, psh, psh. Why? Like, okay, why this is a game. We're going back to this. You watch some horrific movies, some bad movies. Birdemic. And I like watching bad movies too. Twilight, those are like my guilty pleasures. Sometimes I like watching them. Why is my bad movies not okay, but your bad movies are okay? Because my bad movies are actually bad movies. My bad movies are bad movies too. Your bad movies are bad movies, but they're boring. Boring. I think your movies are so fucking boring. Never back down, the back down, or the beat down. Dude, that so was So fucking boring. That was the, you made me, I was literally going, can I leave? Can I <laughs> leave? You would not let me get off that couch. You kept no. holding me down and forcing me to watch this shit show. But me, I want to watch a movie. <laughs> and you're like, I'm not watching that. I have to blackmail you into watching movies. You got issues. Issues. You need to work on that. You want to watch I think, I No, I think you're prejudiced. We you're prejudiced against my movies. No, what was the most boring movie you made? No, this one. This I've never made you watch that many movies. I haven't made you watch that many movies. I made you watch this. That's it. Uh, th this what movie did I make you watch? None. I don't make you watch movies. No, th this is the bad one. I haven't made you watch a bad movie yet. Besides this. You are the one that goes, hey, let's scroll through Netflix and find the worst movie we can find and make Jen watch it. Yeah, that's kind of a fun thing for that's me. That's literally what you do. And then I sit there going, please let me leave. And you're like, no, hey, never. And you sit on me. Like you, fat, you fat ass sit on me and you said, you can't leave. You can't leave. You must finish the movie. You made me watch all of Pootie Tang. The movie's called Pootie Tang. <laughs> but you kind of like Pootie Tang. Because it was stupid, but it was stupid. I didn't want to watch That's it. Why. I didn't want to watch it though. It's so stupid. I... And then you saw Anchorman, and what did you think of Anchorman? It was okay. It was stupid too. What do you think about Anchorman two? I liked it better than Anchorman one. So there you go. Is Anchorman two when he goes blind or Anchorman one? Anchorman two. Yeah, there we go. That Anchorman 2 was my favorite one. No, I just feel that. Doesn't that feel like a cock? 
Um, what else is terrible about this movie? Just everything. Just so much content. The only errors. thing they had going for it was okay music, but the music didn't match the movie. Like, it was too slow yeah. when it should have been fiery, passionate mu- music. Like, the music they picked was like... That's the music. It was like bad. And you're like, there's literally nope. <laughs> That, that was the music. <laughs> That's what the music sounded like. It was supposed to be like these hot, passionate sex scenes, and it was like, uh, uh, and then the music was. Uh, yeah, because, uh, because every time that was the music, it was like, because, uh, every time, you, every time uh, you watch Fifty Shades of Grayer, darker. <laughs> Whatever you got, you want to expect Metallica to be like darkness and preserving me. <laughs> While it's just hardcore fucking. It should have been like passionate music. Hey, like, they I, had the worst I line in know. all movie history. In they it. had the worst what? Line. What was the line? Fuckery. Oh, uh, your fuckery? No. What was her stuff? That fuckery? Yeah, something really dumb. I'd, all of your I fuckery? The word. Something like that. Remember the word? But this is even worse, and the books are worse. In the books, she has, like, a, I don't know, like, a mental image, and that she calls her inner goddess. And she was like, my inner goddess is dancing. And you're like, what the fuck is going on? And it's, like, long tangents of her inner goddess. I don't, I've never read the books. I just read about her inner goddess. I was just like, what the fuck? So they took that out, at least. Yeah, Chris's eyes are all bugged out. The f- Fuck! It's a weird book. I don't get it. I've read some better erotica that's called um, The Black Dagger Brotherhood, J.R. Ward. I like those way better. They're uh, a vampire. Hush! When you say J.R. Ward, I was like, George R.R. R. Martin? No, George R.R. George Railroad Martin? J.R. Ward. Um, she, these books are about no. vampires. Mm-hmm. They're vampire warriors. I see it gets theme redundant because I've been reading, there's like 14 books in the series or something crazy like that. So it gets redundant after a while. But the book series is really good. I enjoy it. I read it. I've read them over and over again. Let's this talk has about erotica. a better billionaire. Batman. Yeah. <laughs> but first, let's start with Lego movie. The Lego movie. Oh, okay, yeah, the, so this oh, is what happened. The, shh, the shh, billionaire's shh. in there, too. We were going to watch another movie called The Young Victoria. But Chris complained so much that we, we, my mom mm-hmm. gave him a bone and said, we'll watch another movie. So he said, we'll watch the Lego movie. I haven't heard about the Lego movies because I started grad school two years ago, so I've been in, like, a grad school funk. So and that's why... she complained. Shh. I haven't heard anything, so I was just like, well, I wanted to watch Young Victoria, and you said no. And so I was like, oh, I don't want to watch this movie. I don't want to watch this movie. Actually, a cute movie. No shit. That's why I was like, this is a good movie. It's a cute movie. It's actually very, uh, very silly. It's just cute. They They make this whole world up with legos it was amazing it was it was it was just a sweet movie i don't think i'd watch it like again i would i i, I don't i know the story i want to i'm going to use the polish of nail I, I mean it was punny so that's cool but it wasn't like and the scepter of qt yes and the craggle but i can't rewatch a movie unless i'm like invested in the characters and like like the characters and the knife of absolute zero why is it called the knife of absolute zero? I don't know, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like exact a knife. I think it's like it, the knife or the sword of exact zero or something. It's, it, That's what they called it? Yeah. Something silly. I don't know. It was it's a cute movie, though. they're mispronouncing words. Yeah, they're mispronouncing human words. What was the best part of the movie? It was the jokes. Yeah. The jokes were funny. All right, I just got to do the secret knock. <laughs> All right, we're in. Or like the fact that the blind man was like, I need to tell you something before I die. It's very important. <laughs> and then he dies. <laughs> and then his ghost comes back. And then he's like, <laughs> he's like I was going to tell you something, but I couldn't because I died. <laughs> Oh, man, that's just a good movie. It's, it's just a silly movie. There's a lot of very funny parts, and the character, you feel so bad for him because he's, like, a nobody loser, but he's really happy and, like, And then, upbeat. Uh, we got 
the introduction of Batman in, in that movie and how he makes songs. Batman in this movie, hands down, is better than a DC Batman. In the new last two, in the Batman v Superman and Justice League. Yeah. Even in the Lego movie, he had more character and more going for him. He's like a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> he's a jerk who makes his own music and he's super arrogant. <laughs> and he... He's like... Like, he had a song about his dead parents. He's like, I'm adopted. I have no parents. But I have a lot of money that helps, too. Yeah, he's just, like, awesome. He's, like, a douche. He's, like, a, he's a douche, actually. He's kind of a jerk. Yeah. But he's a hero, and he still saves people, and he comes in the nick of time like he's supposed to. And he's still the world's greatest detective, but he's just hilarious. And this is only where he doesn't play a significant role in the Lego movie, but he still has a lot of character. Yeah. And he's, he's a funny. side character. He's yeah. a side character, but there's still character to him, and he's he's hilarious. I really liked. I I really and liked. Chris the Lego. Pratt is the main character. Yeah, there were a lot of very famous people in this movie. Yeah, there was Will Ferrell, There's... Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt, um, Jonah Hill, Morgan Freeman, uh, fuck, Channy Tatum, Will Arnett. There's a lot of people. There's a lot. And then we had a uh, Lego Batman. We had more famous people. Um, but by far the best gun sound effects of all movies. All time. movies. Pew 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 pew. pew. You dead. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that movie had way more heart than any other movie I've ever seen. That movie was awesome. I really like. Just so funny. Oh, I can't even. Think of funny parts because the whole movie was just adorable, and then they had moments. About the part where um, Robin ripped his pants off. <laughs> and rip. And then Batman says, "I can, I can only look you in the eyes right now." He's like, "Now I'm free. Now I'm going. Come on, Batman, let's get grooving." <laughs> I'm trying to think of my favorite part. I really, really like the part when he's talking to Alfred Batman after the first mission, like he comes home, and, yeah. and uh, Batman's like, I'm going to bed, and Alfred opens the lights, and Batman goes, <laughs> and then Batman's like, I mean, Alfred's like, we have to go to a party, and Batman's like, what, huh? And he's rolling on the floor away like, from no, Alfred. No 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 no, 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 no. But he's like, Master Bruce or Master Wayne, whatever the fuck he calls him, do you know what this means? Pa- suit party and then they all get dressed together yeah. um, that was just hilarious by far the best also intro to a movie ever yes yes black. yes all important movies start with black <laughs> and then it's like dc the house that batman built <laughs> yeah what up superman i'm your kryptonite <laughs> and then he's like rat pack he's like don't know what this rat pack is but that logo is macho and then it just keeps going and going it was just really good i really liked when he went to superman sings at sanctum and he finds out it's actually the 27th anniversary of the justice league and yeah. it's a party and he wasn't invited like, that whole movie's about loneliness and yeah. like the definition of family yeah. And you having to open up to let another family in. It's really cute. It really shows a lot of character development. But when you look at at the uh, Batman v Superman Justice League movies, you don't get that. But what's also really funny is that they take nods to every batman movie that preceded it mm-hmm. like alfred even goes like you had a familiar stint back in 2015 yeah he references 2000- every single movie that batman has been yeah. in it's like 2009 2005 2002 and it's like even that weird one in the 60s <laughs> but by far best billionaire of all time he's always the best well, Christian Grey is a Christian Grey is dog shit. Christian Grey is a billionaire. Just saying. I don't give a fuck, Christian. 
I was about to say Christian Bale. Christian Grey. Oh, he's just saying, you seem to have a problem with people with money. If you had that much money, what would you do? How much are we talking? You make $2 billion every year. $2 billion every year? Every year. I would live like Gomez fucking Adams. What does that mean? I'll buy a creepy ass mansion. My my butler would be a six seven or seven foot tall man that looks like Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna call him Lurch. His don't care what his real name is, he Lurch. And I'll be Gomez. I'll get a I'll shave my mustache to be pencil thin. I will start smoking cigars and I'll wear pinstripe black suits. Okay, but what would you do with your money? That's it. That's like not even a chicken scratch. You have barely scratched the surface all the money you made. Don't care. Living like Gomez Adams. I don't think you would. <laughs> I'm I think you would buy. I, I like think that. you would like. You think you'd say it, and then you do it, and you'd be like, "Oh, this house is drafty. Oh, I'm cold all the time. Oh, there's no TV. Oh, I want to watch TV. Oh, I wish I had a 4K TV. Oh, I wish I had this camera. Oh, 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 look at that new Dragon Ball thing. I gotta have. I gots to have it. You'd be buying all these hot toys and all this shit. You're going to all the comic cons. You a liar. Living like Gomez Adams. I think you're lying. Yeah, they're spooky and they're spooky. The de, 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 de. I had money? Yeah. I family. do normal things do, with do, it. Do, do, do. I buy a normal house and I buy all the clothes I want. And I'd have someone who could cook me food all the time and go grocery shopping for me. What the fuck was that? Do, 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 do. It's eBay. Oh, it was your phone? Straight up, if I had billions of dollars like that, live like Gomez fucking Okay, ass. second question. If you found out tomorrow that you can move things with your mind, what would you do? Move things with my mind? Mm-hmm. Be drunk with power. I'd like, would hey. you become a superhero? Nah, uh, depends on the day. I'm gonna be damn honest. So you wouldn't? Well, how, well, how? What's the extent of how? Like, how much can I lift? You're like the mind? invisible woman. Oh, so that's pretty strong. So I can make force fields. Yeah. I can make myself invisible. I can lift things a little bit. You can't make yourself invisible, but you have the strength of the invisible woman telekinetically. So I just could like lift a truck. You could lift a lot. Make force. So you're talking fields. Jean Grey style. Yeah. I'd basically be a Jedi. So what would you do? Kinda. Nope. So I will be like, hmm. Gonna just live my norm, live my normal life. But not move when you need the remote. Yeah, I'll just be like, whoop, cool, that happened. And then, if like. Someone pissed me off or, like, pushed me by mistake. They get pantsed. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. If you were Bruce Wayne, would you have become Batman? Well, I'm Bruce Wayne. I had to become Batman. You're Bruce Wayne. Would you have done it? I Same trauma. Same trauma. Would you have done same it? Same determination? Sure. Then I'm becoming Batman. You could be something else. You could do something else. Become you could become Batman. a police officer. You could join the military. Like, other options. You'd become Batman. No, become Batman. You'd become Batman. Become Batman. Okay. Living in my little boat. Eating my lobster. You'd be stuck in your 8-year-old, 12-year-old self. Never dealing with the actual trauma. And instead, beat up people. Okay. Because I don't want anyone to get hurt like I got hurt. But you fail miserably. Because that still happens. 
crime won't be stopped. I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll fucking be Batman all day. Okay, just wonder. Just beat the shit out of people. And do a lot of detective work on the side. Okay. And then go to Morgan Freeman. He's like, Master Wayne, how did you get here? <laughs> I'm like, ah, trying to figure out this ballistics. And he's like, oh, see, Master Wayne, you're looking at it at the wrong angle. You see? I'm also the voice of God. Did you know that? I'm like, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Whoa. What else can you do? He's like, also could carve bullets. <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> Show me this. Uh, uh, no worries, Mr. Wayne. I'm going to just go. Bow. That is another bad movie that I enjoy. I actually like want it a lot. Too. I like it. It's fun Shoot to watch. This motherfucker will become something of the pantheon of men. Something. I don't know. It's a funny movie. I like what a little bitch she is at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, and then when he hits the dude in the face with the keyboard and it spells fuck you. And it's yeah. Chris Pratt. Yeah, and it's, uh, that's weird. Chris Pratt and James McElroy is in that movie. Yeah, before they were super famous. Before they're both Marvel characters. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, well, what would you do with billions of dollars? Would you become Batman? No. You only know, just said buy dresses. Yeah, buy dresses. Live my life. <sighs> Get on a yacht. Go on airplanes. Travel the world. <clears throat> Normal people things. So Everyone wanna... be like, but there's starving kids in Africa. Yep. I want a creepy mansion. I want a Frankenstein looking man opening my doors. Probably open a bunch of schools. Invest in the arts. It's curing. Like, yeah, look, it's large. Give a lot of money to foster care system. See Normal people thinks. A lot of altruism with you. Me just wanna live in my creepy mansion. And if I had telekinetic powers, I'd just do normal things with it. Chemistry would be so much easier if I could hold shit up with my mind and be like, need to lift that up and then fix that clamp and then do that. And I wouldn't burn myself all the time. And I'd never go in the glove box. I'd do it all with my brain. Like, if I had the powers of Superman, Jesus Christ, don't go near me. I don't know if being having those powers would be fun at all. I'd be so afraid to just like touch someone. Be like, I had too much force. Oops, they're dead. Mm. You got so delicate. Nah, see, I would be like, don't fuck with me. You don't want to fuck with me. I'll do that thing in Man of Steel, or I'll impale your car through a street light. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that's a big inconvenience, huh? Shouldn't have fucked with me. I warned you. I don't... You know what? Fucking punch me. I dare you. I want to feel your hand break on my face. No, I would definitely not become a hero. Even if I was Bruce Wayne, I would do normal things like go to therapy. Nah, see, you're you're weak. You have to become the Batman. Or how the guy in The Dark Knight calls him the Bethman. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do any of that. Their life seemed horrible. All right, well, quick scenario. Would you, would you rather live in RoboCop's Detroit or Batman's Gotham City? RoboCop's Detroit. What? I don't remember what RoboCop's Detroit. Oh, like. super bad. Gotham City is supposed to be horrible. People are always being. Yeah, but <clears throat> rewatch RoboCop's Detroit. It's super rapey and super bad. You gotta hope RoboCop comes by and shoots that. Can bad I guy live in, in Spider Man's New York instead? No, you got that. Those are your ultimatum. I don't. I haven't seen RoboCop in a while. All I remember is it's RoboCop really... bad. Fine then, Gotham rather... City. I, I was going to say... I Batman's test- Gotham seems horrible. Even rich people get killed and mugged and shit. Can you imagine how bad it is for the poor people? Yeah. They both seem horrible. It's real bad. 
Yeah, it's a hard call. But I'd rather deal with Batman's Gotham City. At least I know what I'm getting myself into a lot of the time. And I would never live in Gotham City. I would have moved out. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, why do any of these rich people live there? You're like, the poor people, like, they can't afford well, to move out. But the rich people choose to live there. Bruce doesn't even live in Gotham City, respectively. He doesn't? He lives on the <clears throat> outskirts of Gotham. So it's basically like how... Uh, like, if New York City was uh, Gotham, which Gotham is in New York, um, he kind of lives on, like, the Long outer time. limits of the city. <clears throat> so it's, like, closer to the upstate. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, yeah, that's where I live. And I drive into the city. Or fly in with this plane. Yeah. Spider-Man New York, I don't want to even live in. All of them live in horrible places. There's like because a lot like of crime. Spider-Man New York is super bright and colorful, but you got to deal with cataclysmic events on like there's a just daily. a lot of crime and a lot of poverty in all these superhero places. It's like I don't want to live in either of them. Because like, them. like in <laughs> in uh, Spider-Man New York, you also have to deal with the Avengers. Captain America, Spider-Man, uh, even though we just mentioned him, all of the X-Men, and all the supervillains, respectively. Mm-hmm. New York, in the Marvel Universe, gets decimated every Tuesday. Yeah. It's like, why do I leave my apartment? I, There's traffic. Why? Construction. Why? Oh, Spider-Man fought Juggernaut the other day. And then two blocks down from that, Captain America was punching the shit out of Winter Soldier. And then three blocks away from that, Iron Man was fighting the Iron Mongol. <laughs> and then two and a half blocks away from that, all of the X-Men were fighting the Brotherhood. It's, it's just terrible, man. It's just, don't, don't go to Lower East Side. <laughs> right, no, okay, I'm not going there. At least Batman's uh, Gotham, he'd be like, we're going to watch the news every fucking day, I swear to God. So they're like, Joker escaped, everyone stay in store. We're just stay- staying in there. And then it's just like, oh, man, Bat, there's Mr. Freeze, whatever. He's like, uh, it's not a good day to go to work. <clears throat> what I'd rather live is, uh, fuck, is it Star City? No. Uh, where the Flash lives. Star City. So, if you don't know, in Flash's city, there is no crime. Because Flash solves it before it even fucking happens. <laughs> He's so quick. He's just like, yeah! And you're like, oh, all right, it's just a normal day. A mugger coming out with a knife? The knife is gone. He, the dude's beaten up before you even know anything happened. I'd rather live in that city. <clears throat> that sounds good. Sounds nice. I'd live there. You just get a really bad wind. Just. Ra- <laughs> I'd raise a family in Star City. <laughs> just get fucking blasted with the red wind. It's... Oh, man. Superheroes. Superheroes are great. Villains are horrible. The worst. We're back on that. He's got a nice ass, though. He oh, is he one a perfect of, ass. No, of all the of all Kit the Kit Harrington. <clears throat> yeah, he has a nice butt. Of all the movies that we've talked about, Christian Grey is definitely one of the most attractive that I find attractive. Jason Momoa is up there with me. He's too big. Uh, dudes. Immaculate looking. He's too big. I like him myself a Jason Momoa. I mean, his shoulders are so broad. I don't know. He's a huge Jackman. I don't know how I feel about him. I liked his character. Kind so, of. There was. When he was Cal two Drogo, people but not the whole time. In that movie. 
One what being movie? Henry Cavill. And the other one is I don't find Sexy Henry whatever his name is attractive. He got a good bod. Real bad CG upper lip. He's got a nice body, but I don't find him attractive. I'm not attracted to him. I'm more attracted to character, and none of these people have character in their movies, so not attracted. Except Jason Momoa. Yeah, my Jason man. Momoa doesn't have a character in this movie either. Yeah, my man. I'm not, I'm not attracted to him. Why are you trying to make me attracted to him? My man. I was attracted to Hayden Christensen in Star Wars. I mean, he's cool looking. I like him. <laughs> he's real cool looking. See, the thing is, if you look cool and you got a good bod, I'm going to have the hot flashes for you. Mm-hmm. Gal Gadot, she looks cool. Nice bod. Hot flash. Mm-hmm. Henry Cavill, you can put a beard on your face. Shredded like that, I get the hot flash. <laughs> Jason Momoa, get the hot flash immediately. I think that's menopause, Chris. Uh, ben Affleck, oh, good old Benny Aff. I don't find him really attractive. I'm not really attracted to that many people. Again, like I said, it's the character. If they have a good character, I'll become attracted to them. But mm, I was attracted to Winter Soldier. Sebastian Stan? Yeah. I I thought he was cool looking when he had the mask on. I was attracted to Norman Reedus in The Walking Dead. Oh, he always looks like he's sucking on lemons. It was the character. Like he's I like, said, it's the character that I get attracted to. Rick. Darryl's. Oh, are you not going anywhere with that? I thought you were going somewhere with that. Nah, it's just Rick. Just Rick. He doesn't say that much. No, he doesn't. He just crossbows you in the fucking eye. Yeah, I guess we should wrap it up. And talk about rambling. next week. We're kind of rambling at this point. But both Lego movies, pretty good. I was surprised. They're actually very good. Watch Lego. Shades Gray or Gray is Gray. Got me excited gray. for number three. So ready for number three. That's what that movie deserves. <clears throat> Maybe that's a little too much for it. <laughs> well, you know. Don't watch that movie. Watch it. Never watch. Throw that Throw popcorn movie. at it. Enjoy. No, no. And everyone, guys, remember when we have sex, we take our pants off. <laughs> Please no. take your pants off. Follow the Christian Grey method. We're starting fires in people's crotches. <laughs> But next week, what are we gonna? What do you guys have looking? What do we have looking forward for next week, Chris? Um. Well, I gotta finish the last Lord of the Rings movie. I have been on a quest since The Hobbit to finish every single uh, movies from the J.R.R. Tolkien. Is it J.R.R. Tolkien or J.R. Tolkien? I think it's J.R.R. Tolkien. Whatever. The, Whatever. Well, the Tolkien man. I, the Fellowship of the Ring. So, the first movie in the Tolkien universe I've ever seen. Technically, you're watching these the in Hobbit. order of the books. Because it was The Hobbit first. Yeah, I saw The Hobbit, then Desolation of Smog, and then The, the Bad One. The Five Armies. The Bad One. The Five Armies. And then I saw Lord of the Rings, which was good. No, you saw the Fellowship of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring, you saw the Two Towers, and now we're going to watch uh, Return of the King. Yeah, in order. In order. So we're going to watch that, and we're also going to watch all three, one, two, there's three, character, Star Wars movies. But there's a character in Lord of the Rings I didn't know about. His name, it's like really weird sounding. It's like Tom something. The one that's not included in yeah. the Hobbit movies. Was it in the Hobbit or the Lord of the Rings movies? It's Tom something, yeah. No, I think it was in the Hobbit that he wasn't included. Whatever. We'll discuss this later. This is going to be our riveting discussion next week. We're going to be talking about Lord of the Rings. And if we get to it, 
the prequels, one, two, three, Star Wars, oh, in so anticipation of the movie coming out on December 15th, The Last Jedi. Yeah, we're going to watch all of them. We have like three weeks to do it. We can do it. Yeah. There's going to be so much child murder we're going to be talking about. And we're finally going to get ready to start filming. Oh, yeah. Next Friday. No, this Friday. Yeah. And then this weekend. Man, it's going to be a busy week. Yep. So, see you guys next week. Check us out on Facebook and at www.superfunpack.com. We love you. Kinda. No, we do. <laughs>